after her father assigned Infernal Squad with the mission of hunting down important rebel leaders. Their mission has taken an unexpected turn. What was supposed to be a trap set for Admiral Akbar has turned into a hunt for an Imperial traitor in the form of Protector Gleb on Aiden's homeworld of Vados. The Corvus has set course for the prominent Imperial world in order to bring the traitor to justice. En route to the destination, Gideon Hask asks what is to be done once they find the target. The Dacia says that she should be brought to Imperial High Command alive if possible. Del Miko provided information that made Hask raise an eyebrow. If possible. You mean we have the possibility of killing a high-ranking Imperial? Hask had more to say, but Aiden was quick to cut him off, correcting his comment about Gleb, telling him that the Protectorate has betrayed the Empire by giving away secrets to protect her own head. However, her crimes will be dealt with by whatever means the situation will call for. If they take her alive, she will pay for what she has done. Hask had his view focused on Aiden, who by no means was shuddered by what she had just said. She approved of the mission through and through, and was sure that Inferno Squad would do what had to be done. We're coming up on Vados now. Does she know we're after her? Agent Miko was prepared to send transmission to the world below, but needed to prepare for whatever the plan was. Aiden told him that she doesn't know they're after her, but if something goes wrong, to be ready for a fight. Miko gave an affirmative as he patched the chorus through to the Imperial installation below. This is Docking Bay 2187. You're entering Imperial territory. Please identify before proceeding. Miko cleared his throat before relying the information. This is Agent Del Miko, Inferno Squad, operating the Corvus. We have a full capacity crew and requesting landing confirmation. There was an uncomfortable pause before a response came through. Copy, Agent Miko. You are cleared for landing. Protector Gleb has called for your presence upon arrival. With that information, the entire squad shot glances at each other. Maybe the protector did know that she was being hunted, or she simply was requesting to see them. Either way, they had a mission to undertake, and Aiden was definitely going to make sure it was completed. As the Corvus made its landing, all of the members approached the administrative building. Along the way, Hask thought he'd chime in on how he would prefer everything went down. If you don't mind, Commander Vessio, I prefer we take Gleb alive. I realize she's a traitor, but High Command would be greatly impressed if we bring her to them ourselves. Aiden kept marching towards the building, but responded to Agent Hask's suggestion. She told him that they'll do whatever they have to, but she too prefers the better outcome. As the trio entered the building, Gleb halts them before they take another step. With her translator giving her voice a robotic sound, she welcomed the squad with a very sarcastic tone. Protected with Gleb, Agent Hask stepped forward. It seems as though some interesting chatter has been reported from your station here. Care to explain? He raised his blaster to the Protectorate who had a more than confident response. She explained that once the Emperor fell, she knew that the New Republic would be coming for people like her, so she needed to give herself a cushion before her time came. Well, your time has come, Protectorate. You are under arrest. I didn't look back behind the Protectorate, noticing that she wasn't alone. She motioned for them to be taken in as well and escorted them all back to the Corvus. Once this was done, and the Imperial Traitor was interrogated, Admiral Vercio called for Aiden to report to his Star Destroyer immediately. She approached her father, wondering what information had been retrieved. It seems our dear friend has been quite talkative with the New Republic. She's revealed the location of a base on Jakku. You and your squad to report there at once. We breathe upon your arrival. Good day, Commander Vercio. This has been part 3 of the What If the Galactic Empire Won the Galactic Civil War series. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to press that like button and also check the description to see other editions in the series. Also, be sure to check the channel for more What If series that we have to offer. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to press that like button and share with your friends to get them in on your conversation as well. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the Marauders Guild for more content just like this. Until the next time, may the force of others be with you.